Happy 4th of July, everyone. Today we're talking the Purge franchise. We're going to be ranking every single Purge film because now the new one, the first Purge, did come out this week. I'm really excited to talk about it because the Purge has kind of been a guilty pleasure franchise. I did just finally rewatch them all, which was so-so in some parts, but also a lot of fun in other parts. So guys, make sure to comment down below and tell me what your guys' ranking is of all the Purge films. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. And of course, if you're also new here, consider subscribing and liking. I do tons of videos like this. But without further ado, let's get straight into the ranking. Coming in at number four is going to be the Purge election year. This was a very disappointing sequel for me coming off of Purge Anarchy, which was freaking awesome. Purge election year just... It tried toning together the horror and the action thrilling vibes, and it just didn't mesh very well. There's too many subplots again, and there's too many characters that I just don't care. And a big thing that drags down this film is the whole chocolate bar subplot. I, I know some people like that, but I absolutely hated that whole sequence. I hated that whole thing, and it really just dragged down the film. Yes, there are some cool action sequences in here. Yes, we get our badass kick-ass dude from the second film again, but for some reason this film just didn't work for me. I, I thought it was a little too weird and kind of went off the rails from the other Purge movies. I mean, at number three is going to be the very first Purge film. The very first Purge film is fun. I, I, I think it's fun. Ethan Hawke is a great performance and so does Lena Headley from Game of Thrones. She's fantastic in here. Yes, they didn't full on go with the whole concept of the purge but i do think it is a thrilling film there is some good scares in here and it does introduce us to this concept i think this is the first film where they didn't really rely on the government things they just made it a haunted kind of house film where you're just in a house trying to survive kind of film and in a sense it works in a sense it doesn't but i do think this film is at least fun in some aspects yes some stupid writing yes some other stupid problems that go on in this film and yes the film is short but I kind of think that's a good reason to be sure. I think the first Purge does work in what it was trying to set out to do. Coming in number two is going to be the Purge Anarchy. Now, this is the film that really dragged me into the whole Purge thing. I absolutely thought that exactly what the Purge should be is this film. A B-rated action film. Kind of that grindhouse film. And that's what this film did. I loved what they did. Again, the film has the same issues as the other ones. Too many characters, too many subplots, and too long to get into the killing. But once it gets in there, it gets in a little bit too fast perfect awesome action sequences in here some of the best that i've seen in any of the purge franchises and of course just a main character that is kick-ass awesome that we can follow along and believe in his duties probably the best thing about any of the purge franchises is that this is the main character that i follow because i really do care for the character me at number one is the first purge yes this is the brand new one and i never thought anything would ever beat the second one especially going into a fourth film in the franchise you think this is gonna be the worst one and it's not the first purge is a ton of fun it has some of the best action sequences in the series i will go to say that again it has the same problems that every single one of these does too many subplots too much government interference and too much government exposition that we don't need and yeah given yes dimitri you don't really care about there's nothing to really care about him but he's a badass he's going to be the next blade and i love that aspect of what they did with the character itself i love when they do touch on that stuff and i think this film again has the best action sequences it was a total blast to watch in the theaters and i really much enjoyed this maybe again i came off the third one not wanting to see another purge i got this one and it totally surprised me but i do think the new director gerald really did help overall guys that's my purge ranking thank you guys so much for joining me on this purge ranking it was a ton of fun re-watching all these films again i think these are really much guilty pleasures with some really good vibes to them and if you guys have never watched the purge films i do really recommend that you at least try them out especially if you're in a horror fanatic kind of vein and comment down below and tell me what you guys ranking is i'm curious to hear you guys thoughts hope you guys are all having a happy fourth of july if you guys are new here hit up all my social media links so we talk more geeky stuff consider subscribing and also go hit up sandwich on films down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens check out some movie news and also some movie reviews so guys until next time stay classy and have a great rest of your day